Hi everybody, I recently bought an action display that I'm going to use for my second jet engine model and I thought I maybe can teach a few things that I learned on how to use it with Arduino. For this tutorial I'm only going to send data from the Arduino to the action display. So we only have to connect the yellow cable to the Arduino and the TX pin. So we can leave the blue cable disconnected to prevent conflict when sending the sketch to the Arduino. Obviously we also had to connect VCC and ground to the display. I created this project to show you a few examples of what you can show. Uh, you can click here to add text, for example, here's the number. But to show a text you need a font. Here's the fonts and pictures on this project. To add the font we have to click here, font generator and you can select the font you want size you have to create a name save it here whatever and it's going to add here this is the second font we just made and the same thing with pictures you can add it here We already have the two pictures. Since we are going to use these pictures as background, it has to be the same resolution as this display. For mine is this. To make the, the background, you can select the background here and you can create solid color or image. You can select the second one. And you see the background. Is selected for the gauge. You can select the background of the gauge here. So the way you can send data is very simple. You have to first send the object name and the attribute that can be anything like this. It can be the value, it can be the, the color, and you can, for example, in the bug, this is like a simulator. You can click and zero VAL is the value. We're going to change the value in that object. For example, 32. You see? 32 here. You can change anything like that. You can simulate the button. For the button, here you write the code that you want to execute when you press the button. So, and you can put it here if you want to execute when you release the button. Well, for me, it's pressing the button is page one. It's going to go to page one. And same here, it's going to go to page zero when you press the button. For Arduino sketch, I create this variable to show something on the display. It's going to count from zero to 200. We initiate the report. In the loop, we increase the variable to 200. And when it reaches 200, it's going to go back to zero. Okay, here we are sending to the object N0. That's this one, the zero. We are sending to the val attribute the variable which is our county. And we have to send these three lines every time for every command. We are doing the same for J0, that is this part. We are sending the variable. And for the gauge, uh, I wanted to try something. Uh, for example, here, we are sending to the VA0, we are series this variable. I created by clicking here. Variable. It's like a long variable in Arduino, but inside the display. And we can do whatever we want with that variable. For me, I did a timer. Yeah. And the timer is like a loop in the Arduino. You can put hit this code and it's going to run every 50 microseconds. Actually, by default, it's 500 microseconds, but I changed it to 50. So it's going to run this code every 50 microseconds. That if N0, that is this one n0 value is going over 99 it's going to change the color 
of N0, this is the ECO color, to this color it's, that is red. You see red here, you can select the color and you can see the code. I copy that code. And if it's under 99, it's going to be 0, the color N0. And for the value, if the value is different from the gauge, C0 is the gauge, it's different to the value of VL0. If it's different, it's going to set the gauge to that value. I made this to refresh the gauge only when the value is different, to reduce the flickering. You can also reduce the flickering, making a smaller gauge. Or also, you can refresh, or you can change the refresh rate here. For example, in 200 going to refresh every 200 microseconds. Going on with the sketch, we are sending to the text T0 and the attribute TXT that is here, TXT there. We are sending, since we are sending text, uh, we have to send this double code before and after the text. This is the text we're sending if the variable is greater than 99. And when it's lower, it's going to send this text. So when you want to hide or show up an object, you can send this BIS, the object name, a comma, and a zero if you want to hide it, or one if you want to show it. And finally, we change the color of the progress bar, J0, yeah. we change it to red when it's over 49, and green, this is the green code, when it's lower than 50. One small tip, if you want to select an object, it's better to press the right click on the mouse, because if you press the left one, you can move it without knowing, a little, it's just better with the right click. So after you're done, you have to click Compile, and you have to click Open Build Folder, and copy to a micro SD. I already have one, so So you can also change things like uh, backlight brightness or the speed of the C report or whatever you want here. And I can show you changing the speed. So if I run this code, it's going to change the speed of the C report of the display to this. And we have to send in the same speed. So let uploading. It's much faster is sending the data more quickly. This is useful if you, if you want to send a lot of data. So I think that's it. And in the future I'm going to show you how you can send data from the Nexion display to the Arduino. So yeah.